Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome to your ninth intermediate Java tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be going over a little more about lists and generic collections. And we're actually going to be talking about collection methods. Now we already went over how to convert a list to an array and how like add and delete elements and stuff like that. Well, I want to tell you guys in this tutorial, aside from just adding and deleting elements in a list, you can also perform methods on a list just like you can to arrays. Um, and this is pretty much all of these methods or most of them come from the collection class so they can be applied to any collection so let's go ahead and um, the best way to learn it is of course demonstrate it so let's go ahead and make a string array first and I'll name it crap and let's go ahead and just uh, fill in you know like five things maybe so let's go ahead and first put apples um, lemons, and doesn't matter if you spell it right or wrong, geese, and don't ask me where I'm thinking of this stuff, bacon, and, um, YouTube. So you try to think of five things fast, and, uh, yeah, anyways. Like I was saying, so now we have an array. So what we want to do is convert it to a list. So the easiest way to do this for testing purposes is go ahead and put list, and put string, because that's what, really, E string, are you serious? And go ahead and name it L1 because I don't feel like typing out list because that takes more time, those three characters, and you know, I got stuff to do tonight. So arrays dot as list and for our parameter, put crap as your parameter. So now we have a list made of L1 and it pretty much takes the array and converts it to a list real quick. Nice, quick, and dirty way. So now what can we do? Well, as I said before, we can call methods from the collection class to apply to our list. And again, we can't do this to an array, so we can only do it to a list, so that's why we need to make L1. So obviously, in order to get methods from the collections class, collections dot, and the first method I'm going to tell you about is sort. And what this does is it takes a list and it sorts it in alphabetical order. So as your argument, of course, you pass what list you want to sort out. So now this actually modifies the list. It's just not for display only. It actually sorts the list itself. So let's go ahead and do system out print. Uh, let's do printf. And as there's two parameters, for the first one, we need to put the format, which would be percent string. And just go ahead and put a new line in there because we're going to be doing stuff after this. And just go ahead and pass L1. Now here's a cool thing. Instead of putting like a variable, you can just put an entire list as one string and it'll pass it in to print it out. So let's go ahead and run this first. And as you see, my original one was apples, lemons, geese, bacon, YouTube, not in alphabetical order. And now once we sort it, it goes apple, bacon, geese, lemons, YouTube in alphabetical order. So the point of this tutorial is not how to get things in alphabetical order. It's just so you can realize that you can actually call methods from the collections I mean that's a class that everything's inheriting from and you can actually use these collection methods they're called to change a collection in this case a list so let's go ahead and do one more and uh, once you do one more it's gonna get stuck in your head so let's actually do sort again but if you're wondering alright if I know how to sort in this order and this is either ascending or descending order but I don't know I just uh Right, let's see ascending let's see sort I don't know ascending descending but anyways if you ever want to sort it in the opposite way what you need to do is since this is an overload method you can pass it in um, either one parameter or two parameters if it only has one parameter it sorts it regularly if it has two parameters it looks at the second parameter and says alright since he passed me in this information he's gonna give me a special way to sort this so collections dot reverse it should be in here right there reverse order and what this is going to do as the as you pass in the second parameter of how to sort it it's pretty much this the sort method takes what do you want to sort how do you want to sort it there done talking so now let's go ahead and print this out right here copy because I mean no need to type it all again and run it and here's what we got let me move this a little bit apples bacon geese lemons YouTube so here's where it, our original list sorted and now it's going to take that new list and sort that in reverse order so you got YouTube lemons geese bacon apples so that's the basics 
of how to use collection methods and again these are methods that you can use to any collection and in this case we used it on a list and again sort isn't the only method I'll probably be going over um, some more useful methods that you can do and I mean well that's pretty much it for this story I don't really want to teach you guys anything else it's getting kinda long so for now just want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next story